Hey church, it is so good to be with you today. My name's Sarah, I'm the children's pastor at our Manchester campus uh, and I've got a few thoughts to encourage us with today. Now, whether it's a sign of me getting a little bit older, I'm not so sure. Uh, but you know, they say when you get older, you start to appreciate the finer things in life. Or my second option is whether I am so cool, I literally know what's in and the cool things that are. Well, over the past few years, I've started to enjoy plants, okay? Something I never thought I particularly would. Uh, never had great experiences or great desires. Uh, but, you know, over the past four years, things have changed. Now, four years ago, what happened was we moved house. And as a gift, we were gifted with a beautiful orchid um, as a housewarming gift. So I was like, yes great slightly nervous thought well it might last a few weeks and then been it never had much success but shock horror my orchid after four years is still flowering i am in miracle territory of where i can keep a plant alive and you know i've cared for it i've nurtured it i've given it lots of love and attention over the four years and seen it flourish i am very very proud of this now when considering relationships relationships too uh, remind me a little bit like plants and um, how they too need care and attention to survive my cactus over here uh, is great very spiky uh, i don't know if you can see but does attack you a lot when you move it about needs completely different amount of care to my orchid is not high maintenance like my orchid <laughs> um, and just gets on with uh, growing and being healthy um, but you know friendships are a little bit like plants how hey, we need to give them care and attention and love and over the years um, I've been really blessed with um, meaningful relationships in church now some started when I was a teenager um, and I'm still best friends uh, with one of these friends. My, <laughs> started when I dated her brother, but that's a story for another time. Um, others uh, have been more recent um, and some are somewhere in between. But friendships like plants need investment, need care, need nurturing. There's a great verse um, in Galatians that I want to share with you today. Galatians 6 verses 7 to 10 and it's from the, tran uh, the Passion Translation. And it says this, For what you plant will always be the very thing you harvest. The harvest you reap reveals a seed that you planted. If you plant the corrupt seeds of self-life into this natural realm, you can expect a harvest of corruption. If you plant the good seeds of spirit life, you will reap beautiful fruits that grow from the everlasting life of the spirit. And don't allow yourselves to be weary in planting good seeds for the season of reaping the wonderful harvest you've planted is coming. Take advantage of every opportunity to be a blessing to others, especially to our brothers and sisters in the family of faith. And my encouragement to us all today, whether you've got one really good friend or many friends, is to choose to be the friend that sows good things. Now, often that means we've got to diary the time to see our friends, to spend time with them, to plan what to do. And as annoying and frustrating as that can be, because we're not 10 anymore and life's a bit more free, Verse 9 tells us not to grow weary in planting good seeds. Now, people do friendships and relationships differently, just like plants need different considerations depending what type of plant it is, where it is in the house to help it flourish. And some people will happily receive the friendship you bring and others won't, but that's okay. Now, in closing today, I want you to take every opportunity to be a blessing to, uh, to your friends send them a gift, drop them a text, phone them up, go old school and write them a card. And if you don't consider, you know, that you've got many or any friends, make a choice today to make that investment into relationships. Maybe it's joining a team in church. Uh, maybe it's being part of a small group. Why not hang about for coffee in church after service rather than shooting off? 
and let us just see God do something incredible as you uh, sow into friendships. Church, we love you, praying for you, praying your relationships, your friendships will blossom and flourish in this season. Have a great day.